investigation continues into what may have caused the accident. We're hearing from state officials and eyewitnesses about today's scary scene. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has been on the scene all day long. She joins us now live from Tiverton. Mike Shannon, the Rhode Island Turnpike and Bridge Authority, says they've never had an incident like this happen before. Now they're launching a full investigation to try and figure out how a truck being used to inspect this bridge caused an accident that led to its closure. A harrowing scene beneath the Sakonet River Bridge Monday afternoon. They were just hanging on for, for life. Joe Fitzgerald was walking his dog when he says he saw a truck being used to inspect the bridge tip onto its side, leaving two workers stranded in a bucket dangling high above the water surface. All of a sudden heard a little commotion over there and trucks started going over, guys in the bucket yelling and screaming and luckily they didn't fall out. Despite first responders arriving on scene in a matter of minutes, the men had to wait more than an hour before another bucket truck arrived, ushering them to safety. They're in a small bucket and they do have fall protection on. So when they're in that bucket, they have a harness on and that harness is attached to the bucket just for events like this. Both men were taken to the hospital but are expected to be okay. Meanwhile, the bridge was closed, bringing traffic in nearby Tiverton, Portsmouth and Bristol to an hours long standstill. Eventually, the scene was cleared and the road reopened. Now, a full investigation is being launched to figure out just what went wrong. Our goal is to keep that bridge safe. These things occasionally happen. And the Rhode Island Turnpike and Bridge Authority says the truck being used for today's inspection is fairly new, only about two and a half years old. They tell us they plan to talk to the driver of that truck to try and figure out exactly what led up to this harrowing incident. Reporting live in Tiverton with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.